My name is Doug Parker, host of Cruise Radio, and today we are going to take a tour of Guy's Burger Joint. If you like this video and you'd like to see more content, feel free to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. So before we get to Guy's Burger Joint, let's back up to the day where it all started when Carnival Cruise Line partnered with Guy Fieri. This was back in October 2011 at an event in New York City. And we asked Guy Fieri, how did this partnership come about? I went on, I gave him a demo, I showed him how I wanted the burgers done. They're like, okay. So I'm like, no, seriously. And they're like, yeah. And next thing we know, we're in the burger business. And an unknown fact is before this partnership even evolved, Carnival Cruise Line had to pass Guy Fieri's own test. I mean, I went, I'm not kidding you, brothers. I went from the engine room to the bridge. I covered every square inch of that boat. I went to the butcher shop. I went to the, I went to the freezer. I went to the fresh produce. I went to the, I went to the team lounge. I went to the team commissary where they make the food to feed the thousand people that work on the ship. They're a real deal. Guy's Burger Joint was a part of Funship 2.0. That was Carnival's $500 million initiative fleet-wide to kind of enhance the guest experience. So they brought Blue Iguana Cantina on, the Red Frog Pub, the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar, and, of course, Guy's Burger Joint. Now, the first ship to get Guy's Burger Joint was Carnival Liberty. Then from there, it was slowly rolled out ship by ship, and they are expected to be fleet-wide very soon. Right now, Guy's Burger Joint can be found on over 20 cruise ships and coming soon to Carnival Radiance, Carnival Panorama, Mardi Gras, and Carnival Sunrise. By the way, Carnival did say that all the ships will have a Guy's Burger Joint by the end of 2019. All right, so back to the food. What makes a guy's burger so good? You got to use quality product. That's like the super, super key. And it doesn't mean that it has to be super expensive quality product. I'm not saying go grind up, you know, some, some prime beef. Use a good 80-20 beef. Cook it the right way. We cook it on a flat top. It's really hot. Now, the location of Guy's Burger Joint is the same across every Carnival cruise ship, located on the Lido deck right there by the pool. In fact, some cruise lines, they do charge for their burgers, like Johnny Rockets on Royal Caribbean and Margaritaville on Norwegian, but Guy's Burger Joint, absolutely free. The hours can vary by sailing, but it's typically 11.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. So just how popular is Guy's Burger Joint? The executive chef told me that on an average day, they go through 2,000 Guy's Burgers, or 7,000 pounds of beef on a week-long cruise. That is, that's crazy to me. Just because they sling a lot of burgers out of here doesn't mean that they aren't efficient. They have two different lines they serve from. A lot of people don't realize this. So if one line is super long, check out the other line. People tend to follow the leader on these cruise ships. Now, once you're up at the line, you'll tell the team member what kind of burger you want. Uh, this is where it gets tricky because you have five different ones to choose from. But the good news is, since they're free, you don't have to eat them all at one time. Well, you could, but you'll probably go into a food coma. So just make your way down the list as the sailing goes on and then back up the list again because you can get as many as you want. As I mentioned, there's five different burgers they serve at Guy's Burger Joint. They have the Plain Jane. That's with or without SMC. That's super melty cheese, basically cheese whiz. Now, this is where it all starts. 80-20 ground chuck on a tasty buttered bun and then uh, served up to you hot and fresh. The next one is straight up, that's SMC and lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickle with the donkey sauce, which is the garlic aioli. The pig patty, that's the straight up burger with the super melty cheese. And believe it or not, it's a patty made out of crispy bacon, like a disc, and it's really good. The next option is the chilius maximus. Now this one is for the purist. It's straight up, no lettuce, tomato, onion, or pickle, just a spicy onion ring, cheese, donkey sauce, and topped off with chili. This can get really messy, but it's really, really good. And then there is the Ringer. That's the straight-up burger with super melty cheese, guys, bourbon, and brown sugar barbecue sauce, and an onion ring on there. That one also is really good. as well. Actually, they're all just really good. I'm not going to lie. I've I'll eat every single one of them any day of the week. Now, if none of these sound appealing to you, though, they do have a kick-butt toppings bar right next to the burger joint that has, like, the sautéed onions on there, sautéed mushrooms, bacon, lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, and about a dozen different sauces on there. Also, the fries at Guy's Burger Joint, awesome. They're hand-cut, seasoned perfectly, but make sure you get them really hot, like straight up out of the fryer. That's the best way to get them. Sometimes you're sitting there and they're a little bit soggy. Just ask them for some fresh ones. That's uh, you'll, you'll be so glad you did. Now, you could take your burger and eat it anywhere you want to go. There are some tables around the burger joint. You could go to the Lido Deck area inside your cabin. It really doesn't matter. These burgers are great, but they should come with a warning about how addicting they are. Not proud to admit it, or maybe I am, but on one sailing on a seven-night cruise, I did 11 of these burgers, and my unofficial calorie count is around 1,500 calories per burger. So yeah, that's a lot. 
So there you have it. That's Guy's Burger Joint Explained. If you like this video and you'd like to see more content, subscribe to the channel and hit that thumbs up button. I sure would appreciate it. You're the reason why I make these videos. What do you think about Guy's Burger Joint? Are you addicted to it? Can you only have just one or do you go back every single day? Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know how you create your own burger there because I love all these different creations you can make. My name is Doug Parker. I'm the host of Cruise Radio and the Daily Cruise Radio News Podcast. You can find both of those where you listen to your favorite podcast. Just type in Cruise Radio or Cruise Radio News. And thank you so much for watching.